Hello everyone, today it's not just another speedrun, it's a guide video. This guide is not exhaustive, I just wanted to make a video that I would like to watch myself when I was starting my attempts to speedrun Hitman. I want to start with fast exits and all other fast interactions. It can be used for all actions that require holding standard G button. How it works. When you approach the exit and prompt is highlighted, you open inventory and press G. This allows you to instantly activate the exit. You can use it for actions like hiding bodies, opening doors with keycard and with crowbar, turning on things, etc. Note that if you have a briefcase in your hand, you will retrieve an item from it instead of fast interaction. There are two methods to avoid this. First, you can hold any item in your other hand. Second is when you are fast interacting, after open inventory, you can switch to another item and press G. Small tip about fast interaction with manhole is to hold move forward button while animation is in progress. When animation starts, you hold walk button and spam inventory and G buttons. This will cut the end of animation and you will be able to exit the mission faster. Some objects, like this laptop, have a long animation. Even if you try to interact with it while running, it will stop you and force you to watch this animation. You can avoid it by crouching before fast interaction with that object. It seems like it doesn't work with all objects of this type, but you should keep it in mind when you run and roll something like that. Next trick is about how to avoid inventory stuttering. It happens when you run and try to equip some item from your inventory. What you do is just strafe right or left a little and open inventory at that moment. Next trick is fast briefcase unpacking. This works with all big items that you carry in your briefcase, but is more commonly used for sniper rifles. It's faster than normal animation that you currently see on the video. To do fast unpacking, first you have to drop the briefcase and then you press retrieve plus crouch buttons in any order. In both cases you press the crouch button again at the end to uncrouch. You can use this trick when the briefcase is on the floor. You just crouch and press the retrieve button. Thank you. Fast throws. It can save you a couple seconds if you have a lot of throws on your route. Basically, what you need to do is press crouch button before pressing aim and throw buttons. To make it right, you can first lock on your target, then you release lock and press buttons shown on the screen. It doesn't work with big items like axes. Next I want to mention spots on some maps where you can drop down. Boost in Sapienza, I think everybody knows about it, you just aim and press jump button. There are two spots in Dartmoor. First one is here, on the balcony of Alexa's office. Second one is on the other side of the floor, on this balcony. You just vault and drop down. There is no one spot in Mendoza. It doesn't require anything special, you just vault at this place. There is a spot on the laundry roof in Chonsin. You just stick here and go inside the boxes and then stand up. Hey, you up there? Next one is here in Berlin. You can drop down from this roof right to the dance floor.
This one requires some practice before you can consistently use it on your rounds, because you can easily get stuck like this. Usually you will want to crouch down the stairs instead of running normally, because it's a bit faster. But there is a third way to get down the stairs, and that's a stairs glide. To perform it you need to shoot without aiming and move back down the stairs while holding aim at the right angle to make it really fast. You need to practice this trick for smooth movement and the right angle to use it on your runs. There are two types of window animation, vault and climb through. Most windows have only one type. For windows that have both types, you will prefer a vault animation, because it's much faster. This is rather a minor trick, but I think it's important to keep it in mind for level runs. Another very useful trick is opening doors with semi-automatic pistols and pulse buffer. You can open only swinging doors with it. Basically, you need to shoot the door and spam pulse fast and at the same time. I'm used to start spamming pulse after I see that two bullets hit the door. You can also use Kruger, but it will require more shots and poses. Stored or quick shots. This is very useful shooting technique. Target eliminated. To prepare a quick shot while holding a gun, you go into instinct and press the fire button. Now when you press the aim button, you will perform a quick shot. Next trick is a mechanic known as peekaboo. It works for all NPCs that are in forces when you are trespassing. What? God damn. You just let someone see you trespass and run away when you are almost spotted. Your target will go to check the position where a trespasser was seen. When NPC you want to lure is far away, you can point a gun at him to make him notice you. You can also point a gun to make this effect work That's faster like here. AKA the crusher yeah. and blood. There are situations when you need to lure one of the two NPCs. But when you throw something, the wrong one goes to check. I'll get to the bottom of this. To change it, you can simply bump the wrong okay. guy to get his attention and then throw your coin. Now another NPC will go to check distraction. This is another type of changing NPC's attention. You can stop some unwanted lures to avoid situations like this and prevent body found. To stop the lure, you just need to drop some item in front of lured NPC. He will lose interest in the first lure. You can drop any item, just make sure that NPC can see it. Hey, I think you forgot something. Gun lure or gun leash. It's a glitch that allows you to make any NPC to follow you everywhere. To make a gun leash, you need to place the gun in NPC's side. After NPC notices it, he will go to the nearest guard to report it. I'll take a look. Not another one. You need to pick up the gun right okay. at the moment when he starts to turn around to go to report. NPC must see that you've taken the gun. Now this guy will follow us everywhere to confront about the gun. Come on, holster your weapon. I think this trick is more useful for contract mode, but sometimes you can find it useful in missions too. Is scheduled for several cycles on the catwalk. So the dressing room is a likely area to acquire him initially. What the? Target down. Well done. 
Well done, 47. And that's all for now. I hope you found something new and useful in this guide. Thank you for watching. Good luck and goodbye.